Come here. You'd say, what is that nasty smell? <laughs> Think I should let him down? Yeah. He's not going to run. Uh -huh. Went down. Good job, you didn't pay in the car. <laughs> we're gonna whack you after all. They did say that they were already starting to try to potty train. Yeah. Is hiccups? No, he's gonna throw up. You gonna throw up? He's got oh. hiccups. So we kind of did a thing. <laughs> we was at Royal King, and it's actually the second time we went in. We had to get something for somebody for her dad, and these people had a puppy for sale. Well, it's the last one. It was the last one. Out of eleven. Yep, and we kind of bought him. Not planning on it at all. Mm. But we we locked these dogs anyway. Yeah. We had researched dogs a few months ago, but. Figured we'd wait. They're a um, Great Pyrenees. It's a male. He's how long? How old? They were. He was born January ninth. Ninth. You got him. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, he was born January 9th. So now we got a little dog to go along with our twelve chickens, and hopefully he'll protect them. They said that they have two Great Pyrenees to for their chickens. Right. So, he said that, she, he said that what, the chickens were laying with the puppies whenever yep. they were born. The chickens would go in there and play with them. Yep. So, he's a little bit used to chickens, but they're both, chickens and him are both going to have to right. learn each other. They're just little. He's full-blooded to both the mom and dad. It was Great Pyrenees, but they're not registered or, not, registered or nothing like that. He's got hiccups. I know. Did you hear that? You don't go anywhere near them. Yeah. Stay away from the cars. I'm sure it'd probably be mostly outside dog too. We'll probably get him a electric fence or something like that. That would be good. Hopefully they'll keep the hawks away from the chickens and the deer away from the garden. And the moles. They said the they moles. could get moles. Yep. Kill the moles. We've got quite a bit of moles now, so hopefully he'll dig them up and kill them once he, once he gets older. <laughs> He's like, okay. I guess. I'll throw it on. What you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's like, what is that? <laughs> this is the next day from... Getting our little puppy and getting the compost and stuff. What do we decide to name him? His name is Moose. Moose the Great Pyrenees. He's going to be our chicken guard dog. <laughs> You'll be good at it. Yep. He's pretty calm dog. Yeah. He plays around some. He, he don't really make much noise. He don't bark or nothing yet. I'm sure he will someday, but... He's doing pretty good. He's got a lot of energy out today. Yeah, he played for probably two hours. Yep. He did pretty good last night too. We put him in the bathroom and stuff with a few little toys and he whimpered for maybe five minutes and then he was done. He stayed quiet all night, so. He didn't use the bathroom in the ba in nope. our room either. Or today when we put him in there, when mm -hmm. we went to church. Nope. But he likes to pee on the white carpet. So. He does. The new white rug. Yeah, we have all is... hardwood except for one rug. Yep. And he pees on it. Oh, you want down? Yep. He's going to help us unload some compost right now. 
You made it. You made it. Good job, buddy. You need some more Good job. <laughs> Give you a little energy boost. Oh. We've had our chicks for a week and three days now. And I'll give you all like a week update and what it's been like since we got them. They've grown to about double the size that they was when they started when we got them and when we first got them when we first got them we had this heat lamp at 18 inches and they were getting too hot they started getting pasty butt and they we seen they were walking around, walking around their wings kind of open and they were drinking a lot of water so they were kind of getting diarrhea like i guess and it's sticking to the back their back end so this one's the adventurous one. She just came up here and jumped on the edge of the box here and got on me. Looks like she's gonna go back in. Maybe. But after this week of having them, they're starting to fly around a lot more. They're jumping up on top of the, jumping on top of the water and the feed little containers there and this one actually just came out we put this cardboard here to hopefully help that but she just did it on top of the box and came to me but anyways um, they were getting pasty butt and I had to actually clean them off but we raised this up to about 24 inches and it really helped they've been perfect ever since and after I think yesterday we did it we raised it on up a little bit because you're supposed to keep them um, five after a week lower to temperature five degrees. I don't have a thermometer or anything, but that's how we've been doing it. Just raise it a little bit after the first week, and after next week we'll raise it again just a little bit. But there, they went through five pounds of feed already in a week, and they go through about they go through about one of these containers every day and they go through probably probably a whole container of water every day too but i clean it out usually two or three times a day um you see how much they've pooped and everything on their little platform and they spill all their feed in the bottom of that tray there but i some of it i can save a lot of it i can't they're really a lot more vocal now and they're hopping around and flying a lot more too A lot of them like to peck at the wall. See, it's the same one here again. This one seems to be probably the smartest. If you stick your hand in there, there's a there's that same one and another one that usually comes up to you more than the rest of them. There's one of the barred rocks, like this one, that has a, like a crick in its neck, like almost. I don't know what it is, but it can, it kind of looks a little weird. But it seems just healthy and everything like the rest of them. Maybe this one. It is. It's this one. You see on this side of its neck, it kind of holds it weird. I don't know what it is. Kind of like this spot right here, you can kind of see it. So we should have about two more weeks of them inside the house. And then we'll be able to put them outside in their coop. And we'll keep them, probably keep them in the coop for the most of the time. 
until they grow up a little bit bigger. That's our one week and a couple days chicken update. And this one's gonna say goodbye to y'all. She says goodbye and please like and subscribe.